taking Goldie to the vet. Oh, dear. Feeling poorly, are we, Goldie? She can't talk. She's a fish. Of course. Uh, maybe she'd like to hear a tune on my tuba. <laughs> it sounds funny. That's why I'm going to the music shop to get it mended. Ooh. Mrs Sheep, Mrs Cat, Mr Zebra and Madame Gazelle have got on the bus. A hot four tickets to the supermarket, please. Madam Gazelle, we're taking Goldie to the vet. Oh, is Goldie not well? She likes you. <laughs> the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. <laughs> The vet helps sick pets get better. Oh, is this the sad little fish that won't eat? Yes. Watch this. Goldie has eaten the food. Oh, she didn't eat at home. Maybe Goldie was bored at home. The interesting journey has cheered her up. Oh. You have a very healthy, happy fish. She's lovely. Thank you, Dr Hamster. Mummy Pig, Pepper and George are going home on the bus. Mr Bull is going home with his bended tuba. It's as good as new! <laughs> on a planet. Does anyone know what it is called? The Earth. That's right. <laughs> I'm a bit of an expert at space things. There are seven other planets that go around our sun. Does anyone know what they are called? Um. Uh... Mercury. Oh, well done, Edmund. Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus. Edmund knows all about space. I'm a clever clogs. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Does anyone know what these planets are made of? They're made of cardboard. These models are made of cardboard, but the real planets are made of rock and ice and gas. But, of course, the moon is made of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> no, the moon is made of rock. And this is a serious tour, so no jokes and no giggling. Here we are on the moon. It's a pretend moon, really, isn't it? Yes. If this was the real moon, you could jump over my head. Ooh. Does anyone know why we can jump so high on the moon? Gravity! Oh, that's right, Edmund. Gravity is what keeps us on the ground. It is weaker on the moon, so you can jump higher. Ooh. We can make you feel like you're jumping on the moon with the help of science. That sounds impressive. How do you do that? with big rubber bands. Everyone is strapped into Mr Rabbit's anti-gravity rubber bands. <laughs> <laughs> Bouncing on the pretend moon is fun. Say moon cheese. Moon cheese! <laughs> and that is the end of the tour. Please walk this way. Are there trees on the moon? No. Are there any cars on the moon? No. Um... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Rebecca has counted to seven. Excellent, Rebecca. Madam Gazelle? Yes, Candy? My mum can count to ten. Wow! wow. Yes. After seven, there is eight, nine, ten. Eight, nine, ten. Very good. It is playtime. <laughs> Rebecca Rabbit, Zoe Zebra, Susie Sheep and Pepper all like to skip. I like sand. I like sea. I like Susie to skip with me. <laughs> <laughs> 
I like ping. I like pong. I like Zoe to skip along. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Let's see who can skip the most without stopping. Squeak. I'll count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Zoe wins. Hooray! 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 Hey! <laughs> Petro, do you want to do some skipping? No, thanks, Peppa. I'm hula hooping. Ribble wobble, ribble wobble, wiggle waggle wee. Hula hoop, hula hoop. One, two, three. Ooh! How many can you do without stopping? A million and three. Wow! That's a lot. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was eight. I'm a bit tired. I'll do the rest later. <laughs> can you do hula hoops, Emily? I can do them my own special way. Emily Elephant is hula hooping with her trunk. Everybody, this is Teddy Playgroup. Hello. He is our special guest. You all have to make room. Grrr. Oh, and that is Mr Dinosaur. He's not very good at talking. Grrr. <laughs> Let's take a photo for Teddy Playgroup's album. <laughs> Say cheese. Cheese. Daddy, Teddy Playgroup needs to have an exciting time tomorrow. Can we go to the North Pole? Uh, how about the supermarket? Yes! <laughs> I don't think Teddy Playgroup has ever been shopping before. It is morning. Peppa is taking Teddy Playgroup to the supermarket. <laughs> this shop says everything. Oranges, apples, bananas. Very interesting. <laughs> this is the checkout, where all the food is paid for. <laughs> George wants to take a picture. <laughs> OK, George. <laughs> Cheese. Cheese! <laughs> That's enough pictures, George. <laughs> oh, where is Teddy Playgroup? Teddy Playgroup is missing. Daddy! You've lost Teddy Playgroup. Don't worry, Peppa. I'm sure we'll find him. Hello. <coughs> How was your day? Daddy lost Teddy Playgroup. Oh, no. But I've got a plan to find him. How are we going to find Teddy Playgroup, Daddy? First, we print out all the photos we took of him. Mummy Pig is unpacking the shopping. I've got a cough. <coughs> Dr Brown Bear came and looked after us. He gave us horrible medicine. Madam Gazelle, can you sing your song now? Of course, Peppa. Ooh, Miss Polly had a dolly who was... <coughs> 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 oh dear, all the grown-ups have caught Pedro's cough <coughs> Dr Brown Bear speaking This is Peppa Pig <coughs> All the grown-ups are ill Not to worry, Peppa, I'm on my way <coughs> <coughs> Hello everyone, caught Pedro's cough, have we? <coughs> <coughs> Very well Stand in line and open wide. Ew. Uh, oh. Ew. Oh. It tastes like custard and old socks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for looking after us, Dr Brown Bear. Who looks after you when you're ill? No one looks after me. I'm never ill. <coughs> <coughs> oh, dear. Dr Brown Bear has caught Pedro's cough. Not to worry. <coughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Poor Dr Brown Bear. 
He's ill, and there's no one to look after him. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> Who can that be? Hello. We've come to look after you. Here's some fruit. <laughs> and some cushions. And here is your medicine. Yeah. It tastes like jammy yoghurt flavoured custard socks. <laughs> <laughs> and here's a song. To Mrs Sheep, do you work or do you play? I'm going to be working very hard today. <laughs> I'm off to the gym. What do you do at the gym? Running, jumping and skipping. Mummy, that's not work, that's play. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and Susie have arrived at the playgroup. <laughs> Everyone. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, children. Today we will play shops. Ooh. Who wants to be shopkeeper? Me, me, me. Peppa and Susie can be shopkeepers. Everyone else can be customers. Peppa and Susie are going to run a pretend shop. What do we have to do? I will take the money, Susie. And you can stack the shelves. OK. Danny Dog is the first customer. Hello, shopkeeper. Hello, Mr Dog. Can I have some biscuits, please? Susie, have we got any biscuits? No, but we've got a toy telephone. How much will that be? That will be £100, please. <laughs> Thank you. Next, please. Nay. Hello, shopkeeper. Can I have a loaf of bread, please? No, but you can have a toy house. Would you like it in a bag, sir? Yes, please. That will be one a penny, please. Oh, I haven't got enough money. You can pay us next time you come in. Gosh, this is hard work. Yes. Hello, shopkeeper. What can I buy for a million thousand pounds, please? Susie, what have we got for a million thousand pounds? Spaghetti. <laughs> Delicious. Is there any more spaghetti? Daddy Pig, you've already had three helpings. Eating gives me energy. And I need energy for my fun run. You also need to practice running. What if I practice eating today, then practice running tomorrow? No, Daddy. You need to practice running now. Oh. Come on, Daddy. Race you! <laughs> <laughs> this is easy. It is easy to run downhill. <sighs> it is hard to run uphill. I don't think I should have eaten so much spaghetti. It is the day of the fun run. Madame Gazelle has a chart to show how far Daddy Pig must run. If Daddy Pig can run to here... The supermarket! Then to here... My granddad's garage! And all the way to here... Windy Castle! Then we'll have enough money to fix the school roof. I'll do it now! Ready, steady, go! I did it! Now we can have the picnic! <laughs> Silly Daddy! That's just a drawing. Yes. Now you must run to the real Windy Castle. Oh. Ready, steady, go. Hooray! Come on, Daddy Pig! You can make it! The school bus has made it to Windy Castle. Now everyone can enjoy the picnic. Water! Water! What a lovely hot day! And such a relaxing way to raise money, too. Water! Water! Daddy Pig has reached the soup. Bonjour! Bonjour, Mr Donkey! My goodness, 
Is that huge case for Delphine? Yes, Delphine has brought a few little things for her visit. Things you do not have over here. Cheese, bread, tomatoes, water. <coughs> Au revoir, Delphine. I will be back to pick you up tomorrow night. Where shall I put Delphine's luggage? In my room, at the very top of the house. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And this luggage is for one night's stay? Oh, yes. That is why I only pack a little bag. Oh. Now, Delphine is here to practice talking English, so we must all help her. Yes, Mummy. <coughs> First, I must say sorry. I do not speak English very well. You don't speak too badly. You are very kind, Monsieur Pig. But may I ask you a question about talking English? Of course. <laughs> I'm an expert at talking. Ask away. Are English split infinitives a form of irregular verb or past pronoun? Uh... Actually, it's quite late. Shall we set up Delphine's bed? Mummy! Mummy! Can Delphine sleep in my bed with a pillow at each end? Good idea, Pepper. Pepper and Delphine are sleeping at each end of the same bed. <laughs> <laughs> now, children, try to go to sleep. You've got a busy day tomorrow. Delphine is visiting your playgroup. Wow! Dormez bien. Dormez bien is French for sleep well. <laughs> I'm not sleepy at all. <laughs> Let's sing a little song to make us sleepy. Yes! <coughs> Frère Jacques, Frère Jacques, dormez-vous. Ooh, a telephone. Papa, that is the fire phone. It's only to be used when there's a fire. Where's the fire? Where's the fire? Can I speak to Mummy Pig, please? Oh, it's Daddy Pig. <gasps> Daddy Pig, you're not supposed to ring on this phone. It's only for emergencies. This is an emergency. I can't find the tomato ketchup anywhere. Daddy Pig, shall I light the barbecue now? Yes, please, Mr Rabbit. Do be careful with the barbecue, Daddy Pig. Trust me, Mummy Pig. We daddies know all about barbecues. Bye. Maybe it needs more charcoal. Give it a bit of a blow. Put a few more fire lighters on. Now, we just have to wait for a fire. How long do we have to wait? Oh, it could be a long time. I've been waiting ages. How many fires have you actually put out, Miss Rabbit? Uh, none. Not one fire. But you've got to be ready. It's the fire phone. Oh, can you answer it, Pepper? It'll probably be your daddy again. OK. Hello, fire station. Hello, Pepper. Oh, daddy, it is you. You're very naughty. This phone is for fires only. Uh, can you put Miss Rabbit on, please? There's a good girl. Daddy wants to speak to you. Hello, Daddy Pig. This phone is only to be used when there's a... Fire! 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 Oh, dear. Daddy Pig's fire! barbecue is on fire. Fire! Fire! Mummy's to the rescue! Whee! Whee! Hold tight. Whee! 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 <laughs> and here are my peas. Oh! But best of all are my lettuces. Oh, no! My lettuces! I think the birds have eaten them, Grandpa. Yes, birds. Why didn't Mr Scarecrow scare them away? Because the birds that ate my lettuces are very stupid. What's the matter, Grandpa Pig? Your friends have been eating my vegetables again. Which friends? Tom, Dick and Harry. <coughs> Those aren't their names. Granny Pig has chickens. <coughs> wow! Say hello to Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. Hello. <coughs> and here is Neville. <coughs> 
Pebble a boy chicken? Yes, Pepper. He's a cockerel. He's the worst. Scratching up my vegetables. Neville wouldn't hurt a fly. I've seen him eat flies. <laughs> and he ate my lettuce. You don't want to eat Grandpa's lettuce, do you? <laughs> Not when there's lovely corn to eat. <laughs> Come on, this way home. <laughs> Peppa, George, would you like to feed corn to the chickens? Yes, please, Granny. <laughs> Here you are, chickens. Eat up. <laughs> Ooh, you've got a Wendy house. That's the chicken coop. It's where the chickens lay their eggs. Eggs? I can't see any eggs. Not now, but there will be eggs soon. Ooh! It is bedtime for Pepper and George at Granny and Grandpa's house. <laughs> <laughs> Have the chickens laid their eggs yet, Granny? Maybe in the morning, Pepper. How will we know when it's morning? Neville will tell us. Now, go to sleep. Night, night. I've lost my ticket. Oh, dear Pedro, you must be more careful. There's your ticket. <laughs> oh, try not to lose it again. Here comes the train. Chicken! Miss Rabbit is the train driver. All aboard! Here are your activity sheets. Ooh. The children have to spot everything that is on the activity sheet. A boat, a signal box. <laughs> and a tunnel. I can see trees. Are trees on the list? Uh, no. I can see clouds. Are clouds on the list? No. I can see Grandad Dog. Ahoy there! Hello, Grandad Dog! On the list? Silly Peppa. My granddad won't be on the list. But he is sailing a boat. And a boat is on the list. Hooray! The children tick the boat on their activity sheets. <laughs> Tickets, please. Mr Rabbit has come to check everyone's ticket. Uh, I think I've lost my ticket. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Meow. There's your ticket, Pedro. You were sitting on it. <laughs> now you try not to lose it again, Pedro. The train is going slowly uphill. The train is going quickly downhill. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I feel a bit sick. Can I go to the front, please? OK, Pedro. You can go to the front of the train. It's a bit high, George. Are you sure you want to have a go? <laughs> <laughs> One pound, please. One pound? It's all for a good cause. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. It is a bit too high for George. Don't worry, George. I'll come up with you. That's one pound, please. Oh. <laughs> George isn't afraid of heights anymore. Ooh, it is a bit high, isn't it? I'll just go down the stairs. The stairs are full of children. That's the way down, Daddy Pig. Oh, OK. Whoa! <laughs> roll up, roll up, hit the target and win a giant teddy. You can do that easy, Mummy. We don't want to win another giant teddy, Pepper. Don't worry, you won't win. Women are useless at this. I'm sorry, what did you say? It's a game of skill. How much for one go? One pound. Mummy Pig has won. Unbelievable. Here's your giant teddy. Hooray! 
I want a teddy like that one, Mummy. They're too big. No, they're not. Daddy Pig and George are riding on the big wheel. Hold tight now. Oh, that really is high. <laughs> Phew, I'm glad that's over. Five times round for one pound. Five times round? Oh, no. Whoa! Is looking after Pepper and George today? Now, Grandpa, I will tell you how everything works. <laughs> this is the slide. Whee! You climb up here and you slide down there. Whee! And everyone takes it in turns. Oh, I know what a slide is, Pepper. I used to play on one myself when I was a little piggy. Did you have swings too? In the olden days. Oh, we had swings and climbing frames and roundabouts. Oh. But my favourite was the slide. It is my favourite too. <laughs> Whee! Everyone takes it in turns to have a go on the slide. Whee! <laughs> Naughty Richard. You know you have to wait your turn. Richard Rabbit finds it hard to wait his turn. Oh, dear. It's not easy being small, is it, Richard? <laughs> because Richard is little, I don't think he should have to wait. I wouldn't change the rules if I were you, Grandpa Pig. Nonsense. The children understand, don't you? <laughs> Whee! George is little and he has to wait his turn. <laughs> yes, George is little, so he shouldn't have to wait either. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> oh dear, Whee! Richard and George are taking all the turns on the slide. Grandpa, when do we get to go on the slide? Don't worry, Peppa. They won't be on it for long. <sighs> Bored of waiting. Me too. Let's play on the swing. <laughs> Here is Pedro Pony on the swing. And Daddy won't know it was ever muddy. <laughs> Let's find some more things to put in the machine. Oh, my dress is a bit muddy. <laughs> Mummy Pig and George have found more things to wash. Very good, George. <laughs> we put the clothes in here and then we switch it on. The washing machine is filling up with hot, soapy water. <laughs> splosh! 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 <laughs> 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 the washing machine is making the whole room shake. <laughs> oh, Pepper, where's your dress? I'm washing it. What? Oh, no. <laughs> Look, Mummy, my red dress is all nice and clean. Yes, Pepper, but look what it's done to everything else. Oh, dear. Pepper's red dress has made all the white clothes pink. Pink isn't a very good colour for a football shirt. Ooh! Daddy Pig is home from work. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy. Uh, Daddy Pig, we've got a bit of a problem and, um... <laughs> Tell me later, Mummy Pig. I've got to get ready for football. Now, where's my football shirt? Here. <laughs> Don't be silly, Pepper. That's one of Mummy's dresses. It's pink. No, Daddy. It's your football shirt. It got a bit muddy. So we washed it. And it all went a bit wrong. Sorry, Daddy. But I can't wear a pink football shirt. Why not, Daddy? Pink is a lovely colour. Hmm. If you want to play my pirate game, say R. Is this a dangerous game? 
dangerous game. No, Pedro. Grandad Dog has promised me it will be a very safe game. Aww. But it will be exciting. So who wants to play? Arr! Here be the plan. Time was, I had a heap of gold that was mine by right, but I was horn swallowed by one cat and hog. What? Pirate talk is a bit difficult to understand. Captain Hog took my treasure. Oh. Know you, the Captain Hog is a fearsome pirate. Some of you may already know him as Grandpa Pig. Ah, Grandpa Pig! <laughs> the game is to go to Captain Hog's hideout and get back my treasure without being caught. Everyone is excited to be playing the pirate game. Hello, Grandpa Pig. We're on our way. Jolly good. Jolly good. Grandpa Pig and Polly Parrot are guarding the pirate treasure. Be the black galleon fast and the wind at our backs will away. What does that mean? Run to the boat. Yo ho ho. Yeehaw. <laughs> oh there. Put your life jackets off. <laughs> On Grandad Dog's boat, all the children must wear life jackets. That scurvy dog beard should be here by now. Here's a nice cup of tea, Grandpa Pig. Oh, thank you, Granny Pig. At last. Are we all ready now? Mr. Dogbeard, I need to go to the toilet. And me. And me. And me. And me. And me. What can be keeping them? <laughs> My talents are skipping, singing and dancing. I practised them all last night. I was practising watching television last night. <laughs> That's not a talent. Madam Gazelle said so. What can I do then? Who would like to show us their talent first? <coughs> Danny Dog? I can bang a drum. <coughs> I can bang it louder. No, that was lovely, Danny. Hey. Pedro Pony, what is your talent? Magic tricks. Ahem. <clears throat> Here is a glass of water. It is wet and see-through. Ah! Now I will make the water disappear. Ooh! Please close your eyes. Open your eyes. The water has gone. Thank you. Emily Elephant. I'm going to play the recorder. <gasps> and what is your talent, Rebecca? I can make a special noise. It only works if I go up on my tiptoes. That was very good. Yes, but what can I do? Candy, what is your talent? Skipping. I was going to do skipping, but I can still do dancing and singing. My talent is singing. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. I can still do dancing. Potato! Potato! The good thing about rainy days Potato. is we get to watch important Potato. TV programs. Potato! 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 Mummy, George and Richard have made the bedroom into dinosaur land. And dinosaur land is very noisy. George has his best friend here, but I've got no one to play with. You could ask Susie Sheep to come over. Susie Sheep is Peppa's best friend. Can Susie really come over now? Let's ring her. <laughs> Hello, Susie Sheep speaking. Susie, it's me. Can you come to my house now? Yes, Peppa. Can I wear my nose? 
Professor's costume. Yes, but come quickly. Bye-bye, <laughs> Susie. I'll be back to... Quick, Susie! ...pick you up later. <laughs> George, Richard, Nurse Susie is here. And Nurse Susie says this is not dinosaur land, it's a hospital. And a hospital must be clean and tidy. The bedroom is not dinosaur land anymore. It is a hospital. I'm the important doctor. Ooh, this dinosaur looks sick. I agree, doctor. He's a very greeny ill colour. He must go to bed. And this dinosaur looks a very purpley ill colour. Yes, doctor. He must go into bed too. Dinosaur! Shush! Quiet in the hospital. Choo choo! Ahoy there! Ahoy there! Lovely day to go sailing. I would go too, but my boat needs a clean. Ho, ho, ho. I don't know why you bother cleaning that rusty boat. I'm surprised it's still afloat. This rusty boat will still be afloat long after your old tin boat has sunk to the bottom of the river. <laughs> Grandad Dog is Grandpa Pig's very best friend. Full steam ahead. Goodbye. I am the captain of this boat, and when the captain tells you to do something, you must do it. Aye, aye, captain. Aye, aye, captain. <laughs> Polly Parrot copies everything that is said. George, raise the flag. George, raise the flag. <laughs> Pepper, ring the bell. Pepper, ring the bell. <laughs> Grandpa. Can I be the captain, please? OK. But as captain, you must wear this hat. <laughs> now Pepper is the captain, and everyone must do what she says. Ring the bell. Turn that wheel. Aye, aye, Captain Pepper. Jump up and down. <laughs> captain Pepper is a bit bossy. Perhaps I should be the captain again. We don't want to crash into anything. Steering the boat can be tricky. Luckily, I'm good at steering. <laughs> oh, dear. Grandpa Pig's boat has crashed into a little island. Grandpa, we're stuck. I'll ring Granny Pig. She can get help. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Grandpa Pig has dropped his phone in the water. Mr. Potato! Mr. Potato! Oh, it's just Pepper. Oh. Hello, everyone! Hello, Pepper! Susie thought you were Mr. Potato. <laughs> I don't look like Mr. Potato. No, your mat's too big. Mr. Potato is bigger than me. No, he's not. He's a potato. And potatoes are this big. <laughs> There's Mr. Potato. Mr. Potato has come to town. Please welcome your friend and man, Mr. Potato. Hooray! Hooray! Wow, that's a big potato. I declare this sports center open. Fantastic. We must all exercise and eat fruit and vegetables. Which one should we eat, Mr. Potato? Apples, oranges, carrots, tomatoes. Potatoes? Um. Why aren't you small, like a normal potato? Uh. Because he's not a normal potato. He's got legs. Normal potatoes don't have legs. He's a super potato. <laughs> We watch your show every morning. Very good. And remember to send me your drawings. We will. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, 
Today, we will do drawings for Mr. Potato. Hooray! I'm drawing a pineapple. I'm drawing a carrot. Very good. What are you drawing, Emily? A pea. Lovely. And Pedro? It's a super potato. Oh, I see. And George has drawn a wonderful tomato. <laughs> <laughs> and carrots and all sorts of fruit and vegetable leftovers in here. <coughs> Granny and Grandpa will like these. Do Granny and Grandpa Pig eat potato peelings? <laughs> no, Peppa. They're for Grandpa's garden. They help his plants grow. Ooh. We can take these round there after lunch. Oh, goody. <laughs> Mummy Pig, Pepper and George are taking the vegetable peelings over to Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. We are here! Hooray! <laughs> Grandpa Pig, Papa Pig, we've got a special present for you. Ah, vegetable peelings. <laughs> Fantastic. My garden will like these. Does your garden... Eat vegetables? Oh, 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 no, Pepper. These peelings are for my compost heap. What's that? I'll show you. Here it is. It's a wooden box. Yes, Pepper, but it's a very clever wooden box. I put these peelings in the top, and then out of the bottom comes lovely, rich earth called compost. How does it do that? Is it a magic box? Oh, no, Peppa. I've got some little friends that give it some help. Where? In here. Look. Ah, oh, wriggly worms. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> the worms turn all the fruit and vegetables into compost. Grandpa, can we find some more wriggly worms? For your compost tape. What a good idea. Come on, George. Let's find some more wriggly worms. <laughs> <laughs> a wriggly worm. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. Don't worry, Pepper. I'm an expert at map reading. Oh, that's strange. Are we lost? Uh. Yes. It's Grandad Dog with Danny Dog. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Danny. We're lost. What? Lost? Is your sat-nav broken? Sat-nav? You're driving a camper van T3200. Sat-nav comes as standard. Welcome to the car of the future. Ah. So that's what that button does. Where are we going today? The camper van is talking. Clever, isn't it? The computer voice helps you find your way. But how does it know where we want to go? You tell it. Uh, hello, Mrs. Camper Van. Hello. We're going on holiday. Can you tell us the way? Proceed on the current road in a straight line. Thanks for your help, Grandad Dog. You're welcome. Have a lovely holiday. We're going on holiday in a camper van. <laughs> danger, danger. Oil is low. What's oil? Oil helps engines to run smoothly. Will the oil run out? No. These warnings always give you plenty of time. Oil is gone. Oh, dear. Luckily, I've got a spare can of oil. Well done, Daddy Pig. We simply pour the oil into the engine and... Uh, What's wrong? There's nothing in here. The engine's gone. It's Mummy Sheep with Susie Sheep. Since we're in the countryside, I thought we could spend the day looking at nature. Good idea, Mummy Pig. Let's watch a nature program. One of the wonders of nature, birds. How lovely. Ah. 
Shush, shush, little birdie. We can't hear our TV. Oh, Daddy Pig, there's no point being on a camping holiday and just watching TV. We can do that at home. Uh, good thinking, Mummy Pig. There are lots of fun places we can visit. <laughs> there's Tree World. What's Tree World? Tree World is a big forest full of trees. It sounds a bit boring. Or there's Potato City. What's Potato City? There's a tour of the potato fields ending with a potato tasting. Sounds interesting. Or there's Duckland. What's Duckland? It's a wide river full of ducks. Duckland! <laughs> Let's go to Duckland! <laughs> Peppa and George love ducks. How do we get to Duckland? The camper van can guide us. Hello. Where are we going today? Duckland, please. Follow the road ahead in a straight line. We're, We're going, going to, to Duckland duck in a camper van. Welcome to Duckland. <laughs> How many tickets, please? Two adults and two children. Enjoy the ducks! Where are the ducks? Maybe they're on holiday. Let's have our picnic lunch. The ducks always turn up when... when we have picnics. <laughs> Peppa and George love picnics. <laughs> Look, it's the ducks. Look at the lovely sunny view. Oh, dear. It has started to rain. Where's the lovely view? Uh, there's a lovely view. It is Miss Rabbit's ice cream store. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Daddy Pig. Four ice creams, please. What flavours would you like? Mint, orange, strawberry and blueberry, please. OK. <laughs> Look what I've got. Ice cream! Oh, <laughs> they're our favourite colours. That's right. Green for me. Orange for me. Strawberry red for me. And George's is... Boo! <laughs> <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Yum. Look. The sun has come out. And look what else has come out. A rainbow! Peppa and George love rainbows. A rainbow only comes out when it's rainy and sunny at the same time. Ooh! It's got all our favourite colours in it. Yes! Red and orange and green and blue. <laughs> <laughs> And do you know what you find at the end of a rainbow? No. You find treasure. Oh, can we go find the treasure now? OK. The end of the rainbow looks like it's just on the next hill. Let's go! Whee! <laughs> it's a rainy, sunny day. The rainbow's here to play. The end. Then they all woke up and along came a wizard. A wizard? Yes, a wizard. We're going to do a big magic show. Ah, uh, but... Then along came a scary dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Granny Pig, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are still waiting to eat dinner. <laughs> that bedtime story doesn't seem to be working. I'm the expert at telling bedtime stories. I'll have them asleep in no time. Ah, a scary dragon! <laughs> Pepper, George, back to bed. But Grandpa hasn't finished the story yet, Daddy. I'll finish the story. I'll be down in a minute. 
<laughs> OK, there's a boy, a beanstalk, a castle, a beautiful princess, a brave knight, a cook, a wizard and a scary dragon. And a very hungry king. So they all had a big dinner and lived happily ever after. The end. Then they had a party. And all their friends came. <laughs> right, I think I'd better sort this out. <laughs> Daddy Pig. They're almost asleep. <laughs> Thank you. I'll take over now. You have to finish the story, Mummy. All right, quickly now. Tell me what's happened. Once upon a time, in olden days, a long time ago... Mummy Pig's been up there for a long time. I can hear snoring. At last, Pepper and George are asleep. And then they all lived happily ever after. The end. <laughs> Um, I may have borrowed this book for a bit too long. Oh, don't worry, Daddy Pig. It can't be that bad. Gosh! Daddy Pig, you've had this book out for ten years. Naughty Daddy! Sorry, Miss Rabbit. That's all right. Now you can borrow another book. Miss Rabbit, can George and I borrow a book, please? Yes. The children's section is over here. <laughs> oh, look! Berries, flowers, pretty dresses. <laughs> hello, Peppa. Oh, hello, Danny. I'm borrowing a book about football. <laughs> hello, Peppa. <laughs> hello, Susie. I've got a book about nurses. George has chosen a book about dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <laughs> Look what I found. Further adventures in the world of concrete. Here's a red monkey book. Not the red monkey book. It's boring. But this is a different story. It might be more fun. I bet it's not. Once upon a time, there was a red monkey. <gasps> he had a bath, cleaned his teeth and went to bed. No. He jumped in a space rocket and went to the moon. Mm. He had a picnic with a dinosaur, he swam under the sea and climbed the highest mountain. That was a busy day. The end. Wow! Read it again. We can borrow it and read it at home, Peppa. But I was going to choose this book or this one. You can take three books home if you want, Peppa. Yippee! But you must remember to bring them back on time. Yes, Miss Rabbit. And you must remember to bring your book back too. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Edmund Elephant and Richard Rabbit are playing in the sandpit. <laughs> Let's play in the sand pit. OK. <laughs> Stop. What's the problem? We're digging up the road. And I'm the boss. Oh. <laughs> Is it going to take long? It'll take as long as it will take. We have to make a hole. We fill it in. And the road is mended. Hooray! <laughs> Peppa, George, it's time to go home. <laughs> oh, dear. George doesn't want to go home yet. <laughs> On the way home, George, we can see Mr Bull digging up the road. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye, Bye Peppa. <laughs> Peppa and George are looking forward to seeing Mr Bull again. <laughs> Here we are. Oh, Mr Bull is not here. Mr Bull must have finished and gone home. <laughs> no! Stop! Oh, it's the water.
motorbike broken again? No, Pepper. This time it's faulty electrical cables. How do you mend a cluckety cables? We dig up the road! Hooray! Pepper and George love it when Mr. Bull digs up the road. Everyone loves it when Mr. Bull digs up the road. <laughs> Thank you.